Rally up, Guardian. I won't say we got the Shadow Legion on the ropes just yet, but we're making progress. I meant to ask, how are you handling all this Queen's Guard stuff? Only thing that's changed for me is that Crow bowed and asked if he should call me Lady Amanda of Holiday. I told him to call me whatever he wants. I'm just glad he's finally recognizing my natural authority. Anyway, I like how things have been shaking out lately. Tearing through magic planes to bust into a Shadow Legion ship uninvited. That's the kind of entrance Cade would have liked. <laughs> Enough talk. Let's get back out there. Guardian, I'm glad I caught you. Mithrax and Amanda are out on patrol and called for a touch of backup. Seems they picked up another distress signal, and the outpost is absolutely crawling with Shadow Legion. I was surprised they called it in. Makes me think the odds are worse than they're letting on. Usually those two can take care of themselves. I'm sending you their signal now. Head over and back them up, won't you? Our scanners picked up a distress signal coming from a prison facility in the EDZ. We reckon it's a new bunch of captives. Mithrax and I are fixing to break them out. I can splice the base security, but we will need a route for escape. That's where you come in, Guardian. Clear all opposition, that we may lead the prisoners to safety. And do not engage your sparrow. The signal will alert our enemies. Everyone solid? Then let's go get our people back. down their front door while we slip in the back. We'll meet you inside. Please, Rose, I must speak with haste. Turn back now. This is not a fight you can win. You cannot share fear with us, Aramis, for the light provides. Leave these captives and live to see your great machine again. Pursue this quest and you will die. Mithrax? is allied with the voice in the darkness. But she does not speak lies. Perhaps there is something here we do not yet see. There's always something. I'm not leaving our people behind, no matter what. And I am with you. I think I found us an LZ, Guardian. We're going in through the roof. This was not the plan, Amanda Holiday. Are you certain the ship will fit? The only one way to find out. Spider hated when I did things like this. Now, I see why. <laughs> and we're in. Next round's on you, Mithrax.
Guardian. I'm in the surveillance room above. I'm splicing the security network now. I will soon locate the captives. You got a big dog incoming. Hold them off while Miss Rack works. without you. I have located the prisoners. We are nearly ready for extraction. Gotcha. As soon as the Guardian secures the hatch, we'll get everyone the hell out of here. In position? I have located the prisoners. Where's Amanda? Amanda, come in. Amanda. Are you there? The 
devotion, bravery, sacrifice, devotion, bravery, sacrifice. Guardian, Zavala grieves, and Misrax is recovering in the infirmary. How do you want to proceed? We have to regroup. Bury Amanda. And put her killers in the ground. They'll be expecting you. Good. Think with your head, not your heart. Grief is poor counsel. And yours is better? <sighs> Make arrangements for Amanda. The Guardian and I will handle it from here. If that's your wish. It is. <clears throat> I know you want it too. Vengeance. You'll be the first to know when it's time. I bet money she's gonna turn into a fucking guardian at the end of the season. Bet money on it. I have lived for centuries upon centuries, Guardian. Though death has not lost its sting, it is a ritual whose movements are familiar to me. It has become easier to bear. But seeing loss twist the faces of those around me. Zavala, my brother, that is not. Amanda's absence will be felt deeply by those of us who knew her. Despair will be at our side where a friend once stood. So while it does not lighten the burden, let us hold this pain together. And when you lift your eyes, may you look only upon kind faces. I need to focus on the Queen's Guard now. When the time comes to strike back, we must all be strong. As strong as Amanda Holiday. did you. You were not her protector. I know that this is true. But this loss, it is my failure. No, Ms. Raxkel. You dishonor Holiday's memory. No, I mean no dishonor. She sacrificed herself so that I could live. It is a great guilt. Her death was no sacrifice. Holiday died for her own convictions, not ours. Amanda could not be counseled otherwise, nor would she have been. This was her choice, and we must remember it with respect. Her death brings an emptiness. Commanders of honor, the crew, they feel her loss greatly. Holiday did not die for your the Empress is indelicate. That is her grief. And this is mine. As leaders, we feel loss too often. I will not tell you not to mourn. Bear your sorrow, Misrax. But set aside your guilt. Let her memory inspire. Let her conviction light our way. Well said, Queen of the Awoken. Cabal carve our tusks with our victories, and they are recounted at our funeral rites. Holiday's victories will be remembered always. Totally forgot. That's like in the individual races' leaders right there just talking to each other. Wild. <laughs> 